Hi everyone, welcome back to the Nay Nails channel. I'm Steffi Fernandez and in today's video, I'll be doing character work. But this is a bit of a different video. So we started doing like weekly challenges and every week I get Lucy or Drew to choose a character in, not in advance, on the day that we are filming. So I didn't have any chance to practice it or anything like that. And we're gonna do it and film it and see where we go. So hope it turns out well, because if this doesn't, I won't get paid. <laughs> oh, <laughs> let's get cracking. Okie dokie, so for today's video, we are going to be painting... Pikachu! Pikachu! Yes, he's so cute. I, I won't lie, I used to be obsessed with Pokemon when I was younger, but... Um, yeah, I didn't really play the game or... Do you know the app that everyone is obsessed Pokemon with? Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go. Never oh, had yeah. that on my phone, though, I won't lie. I'm missing out. I remember my friends being late for work because they tried to find a Pokemon. <laughs> I was like, why are you not at work? He's like, don't tell him, but I didn't find my Pokemon. I'm like, what? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so I know Brilliant. it was quite big. But yeah, um, so never painted him before. So I'm actually excited about this one. But let's get started, guys. I talk a little bit too much, I do. So I'm going to start with Sherbet Lemon. I'm going to apply a little bit on my palette. Well, not a little bit, quite a bit. But yellow is a bit of a funny color. Do you know what I mean? It's not always opaque. I think it's hard to find a yellow that you don't have to do a few layers of. So I'm going to add a little bit of white, just a tiny bit if you can see, in my palette. And I'm going to, where is my, there we go, my brush. And I'm going just to kind of mix it. Now you see the white is not really making it any lighter. I didn't put enough white to make it light, but it will make it a lot more opaque, okay? So... I've got my main color to work with ready. And what I'm going to do is just start mapping out his body and face. So I am thinking I'm gonna do that first. Something that I usually do is just break the character down into shapes. So I'm going to paint what looks like his face. So it is quite a square, round square shape. So I'm gonna do that. Hope it turns out well, Lucy. I'm sure it will. <laughs> so I'm going to just fill that in and paint it as I go. I like to fill and paint as I go because then it kind of gives me an indication of if my shape is anywhere near what it's near, meant to be. <laughs> I'm going to fill it in. So I'm gonna do the ears now. This has got, looks like rabbit ears, right? Yeah. So I kind of always think to myself, what does it look like? And then it makes my life slightly easier when I try to paint. And I'm gonna fill it in. So we've got the face, the, the head and the ears done. I'm gonna go in and start with the body. So the body is quite large. So I'm just gonna kind of paint a blob underneath I'm not gonna fill it all of it in his body is actually larger than his face I forgot what he looked like so I'm going to fill it in over here and just drag the product down so again just before I cure it I'm going to add a couple more bits uh, over here so I'm gonna do his hand just there and now I'm just going in for the last time and moving product around, making sure it's nice and even so I can cure it and add more detail. Right, I'm gonna pop this into the lamp. So I've got the body ready over here. What I'm going to do next is go in with star fruit and just add a little bit of shading here and there before I add some more detail. So I know there's a little bit of a darker splodge over here where the arm is i'm going to start with painting a bit of a triangle here it is not too dark but you will kind of see it when it all comes together let me just i think we should mix a little bit of this in it's to be slightly darker what color is this 
Coral Bay. It's a lovely pink. It's a beautiful, beautiful um, pink, corally kind of. I want it to be slightly darker. There we go. Just a tiny bit. Gonna do a blob here on one ear. And I'm gonna do a little bit over here. And then I'm going to do a little bit on the bottom. Just add a little bit of shading, why not? Just add a little bit here. So I've got all the shading done. And while I'm at it, I might as well, because I don't wanna cure it so many times, right? I'm gonna take a serious black and apply that on the palette. And we're going to start mapping out his cute little nose and eyes. So let's start with the nose because the nose is going to be central and I can work myself from there. So he's got the tiniest nose, which is so cute. Yeah, he is a really cute Pokemon. Mm, the he cutest, the right? Pick. Yeah, yeah, definitely. He's my favorite. Let me just take a little bit of this. Let me just clean up the shape a little bit. Right, so I've got these two ready. Lovely, and now I'm gonna do two dots. And I'm actually gonna use a dotting tool because you know, mm -hmm. um, it'll be more equal if I do that that way. So I'm gonna do dot over here and a dot over there right so we've got this so we've got the two dots and now I might just mark up the mouth um, it's not all going to be pink, but it'll be a starting point for us. I'm just going to take Coral Bay and I'm going to start mapping out the mouth, like I said. So it's a U-shape, quite deep one. And then it's got like a two curved lines, just like so. So I've got that. I'm gonna fill it in. And let me just sort out the shape a little bit. Just like so. So we've got this section over here ready. I'm gonna pop this into the lamp and we'll carry on. Right, so I've got um, Coral Bay on my palette and I've mixed a little bit of black into here and a little bit of black into here. So I've got two different shades. And I'm gonna pick up one of the darker ones. And I'm gonna just start mapping out an arch just on this section over here. Just like so. And then I'm going in with a darker shade and I'm just filling, uh, uh, filling in the rest of the mouth, which is slightly darker, just like that. So I've got this and I'm going to just clean up a little bit here because I've gone over. I'm going to a little bit here. And I'm going to also, before I pop it into the lamp, add a little bit of white because he's got another couple of white dots in his eyes. So I'm going to be using again the dotting tool for this. So I've got one dot over here and one dot over here. 
So I've got those two dots done over here. And we need to add a little bit more red. So I'm going to just use a color called saffron, beautiful color. Mm. And I'm going to apply that on his cheeks. Completely realize that something is missing. I forgot he's got like red cheeks, right? Yeah. He's looking a lot more like himself now, yes. right? <laughs> and now, the other side. Right, so I've done that. Woo, oh my God, he's so cute. He's looking kind of like himself already. I'm gonna pop this into the lamp and then we'll add some um, outlines. Okie dokie, so he's nearly done. I'm gonna start outlining him, which is for me like the hardest bit. It needs to be nice. Um, so I'm just going to start outlining him. It's g getting there loose. <laughs> yeah. Bringing him to life. Challenge accepted. Whoop. Okay, the line is a little bit too long. Needs to be here. There we go. We just sweat the brush a little bit more. <laughs> there we go. Also, by the way, guys, I do apologize if my hands look a little bit mucky. I have been filming quite, quite some messy looks, right? Busy day. Busy Lots day today. Of Lots of filming. So I've got that. And now I'm going to do the rest. So I've got the arm just here. And then here. I'm going to do his arm over here just like that and then I'll add a few little fingers. There we go. Put his arm ready. Let me just make this line slightly thinner. last few bits over here and let me just outline his cheeks did we flash cure this yeah mm -hmm. I don't even remember <laughs> lovely. lovely right let me just see if I can get a little bit of his a corner of the ear black because he's got some black on his ears so he will make more sense and then a little bit here just like that beautiful so right nice. uh, i'm going to oh i do need to outline his mouth don't i that'd be a good idea i think that'd be a good <laughs> idea Lovely. And then a little bit of a line over here. There we go. I love it. I'm going to pop in into the lamp. Let's add a little bit more um, color into this nail. So I'm going to be using another color that Lucy chose. 
it's called Royal Sparkle and it's one of our um, diamond um, diamond dust gel polish collection it's, it's, it's beautiful it's got really really small glitter in it it's beautiful it shines bright it's stunning I think it works really well in contrast to the yellow right yeah yeah it makes the Pikachu himself pop out if you could I mean, say yeah that's right the reason I haven't done the background first is obviously because it's yellow and I just didn't want to keep adding more yellow and yellow and yellow on top. Yellow is really a hard one to work with. Got this. Let me just fill this little section in. Beautiful. Lovely. Right, I'm going to pop it into the lamp and then we'll top coat it for you guys. Right, so we've removed Pikachu. Look how cute. Mm, I'm loving cute. him. I think I should have maybe dotted one of the eyes a bit to the right because he looks like he's a little bit like, you know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's Listen, right. it's, it's, it's a challenge, right? had to rise up to it so let's get it done and over with so let me just get a top coat a shiny one do you want a matte one lucy what do you think i'm gonna put a shiny one but we can put a matte top coat anyway i'm just gonna put this layer on to seal the art in but what do you reckon we could try a matte top coat should we We've not really done that on a character before i don't think okay so let's let's put the uh, shiny one just to seal in the design and have a nice smooth uh, layer here and then I'm going to put a matte top coat on top. Ooh! What's happened there? Something might have smudged a little bit, but no. Come on, what do you think? Oh, I, I like it. Really does look a lot better though. Oh, uh, I, I think he's amazing. Matte, right? Absolutely amazing. He does look better matte. I do love him. It was a lot of fun to paint him. Uh, quite nostalgic as well. I mean, I haven't watched this show for years. But I remember being so obsessed. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I enjoyed this challenge. I can't wait to do some more. But yeah, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you all on the next one. Take care, guys.